Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party, Season 3. We are down here in the mines and I wanted to show you something. Uh, I found this. This was uh, pretty, pretty crazy. Um, so I think I mentioned this last time, but it definitely seems to be something somewhat true. If you find this tuft stuff underground, so I'm way down. This is below Y0. I'm at like Y minus 53. And this is Minecraft 1.18.1. Um, and you find a vein of something um, inside some tuft, dig around because there's likely to be others nearby. And I came across this. I mean, so I found this, the redstone, and then digging around it, I found, oh, look, there's a chunk of diamond around it. And then just poking around a little bit around Elsa, elsewhere, more diamond. Um, this isn't an insane amount of diamonds, but it's a lot. So I already had 13 from this mining session. And notice, I'm mining with stone tools. I, I built a diamond pickaxe, but I was using it very sparingly. I'm still wearing the same iron boots that I got from before. I have not armored up. Um, and maybe we'll do something about that. Um, as soon as I sort of dig these out. So let's see. I said I've got... 40 redstone and 13 diamond. Let's see, make sure I'm using my uh, iron pick here, which is, woohoo. And then I'm going to dig up these and don't have any fortune or any enchants on these at all. Um, oops, let's see what we get here. But, uh, and this is, you know, Give me that. So, and this is relatively, relatively small. So it's another 17 redstone and now I've got 22 diamonds, which is quite a few. Um, I'll head back up stairs. We can take a look in the storage and see how much I have of all this material. I'm not gonna fill this hole in because it's too big. I might come back down later and do it, but and I am almost a thousand blocks down this mine shaft. And it's interesting because I dug through and found that I had to go quite a ways. And I go through quite a bit where I don't find anything. And then I find clumps of stuff. Uh, and then I, and this is the second shaft that I've sort of put down this direction. The first one didn't, I didn't go this far. Um, but I had to go pretty far before I got anything of interest. So this is uh, this is interesting. And not every blob of tuft has ores in it. But I am finding that when I come across like a little bit of redstone or a little bit of iron or whatever in a blob of tuft, just keep digging and I'm going to find more stuff. It's just it's almost universal. It's rare. Doesn't happen very often. But when I find it, it can be very, very profitable. Uh, I did. There was the first one that I found that I noticed this. Uh, I got a stack and a half iron out of it. And the iron this far down is is pretty sparse. There's, there's not a ton of it. I'm probably at the wrong height uh, to be really looking for iron. And that's why I don't have as much of it as I'd like. So... I don't know. This is interesting. So we will, uh, we'll see here. Um, this, so this mine shaft takes a little while. I don't like running down it because then my hunger goes way down and I'm going to need to eat some potatoes here. But there's one other thing. I keep running across little caves, little bits like this, uh, that I go and explore. Not finding too many mobs because there's not, oh, like here's, here's a big chunk of tuft. I didn't find anything in this tuft. Um, 
Not finding, not, not running across a lot of mobs this far down because the caves aren't that, there aren't that many. There's not that many caves. Um, so I don't know, you know, I think there's some caves farther up closer to home and I probably should spend some time exploring those. Uh, this was an interesting find. So this is a geode and I dug it out. I took out everything, all of the, the, uh, the amethyst blocks that were not budding, all of the calcite that was around it and all of the, oh, almost all of, whoa, I left some. This is uh, smooth basalt, right? Yes, it is. I left some smooth basalt. Let's grab that. Uh, so this was, I wanted to grab everything that wasn't. Let me put some light up here just to be safe. Uh, grab everything that wasn't uh, a budding prismarine to give as much, not prismarine, um, amethyst, to give as much room. And this stuff grows pretty quickly when you clear it out like this. So that's... Uh, that's pretty cool. So I have a, I guess it's an amethyst farm. It's pretty, it's far out of the way, unfortunately, but um, that's not, it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, I, there is geode much closer to home and I will probably do the same thing there. Uh, not that I have a ton of need for, for amethyst at the moment, but it is, uh, it is something. So uh, it's a pretty block, and I like the fact that it makes noise when you walk on it. So, okay, we'll get back home, and then we will check out uh, sort of how much stuff that we've gotten doing all this mining. And then we have a couple things to try and take care of today. So I've expanded my little uh, underground hole here a little bit. I still need to clean up a couple bits here, but... And I built a... Uh, Hello. Hello. I built a snowman here. So I have a little snow farm. And the reason I wanted to do that is because this room. I wanted to build this out of snow. Uh, and I may I may expand that. Whoops. I may expand that uh, in here as well and sort of make that the design aesthetic of this place. Let's go quickly review what's going on here. Uh, the farm. There's a doggy here. This is Barb Makes Things Dog. She is set up over there a little bit. She built a campfire. Uh, so I've got, you know, we've got the farms going and the she built a campfire. And let me go over here and show you her little space. She got, she tracked some animals over here. So we've got sheep and set up a little space here. Have, and you can hear cows. Oh, some of them babies are having up run up in, and chickens. So the cows will be important in a bit. Actually, the cows will be important. Yeah, let's okay. We'll we'll do this. Careful of the order. So we've got uh our little farming area, our little tree. Um, oh, I built I built a couple snow golems to lay some some snow down on the ground, and I sort of did some landscaping, and I lit things up here, and oh. did a little bit of landscaping over here because, or terraforming because I wanted this area. I have a plan, and we'll get to that uh, shortly. So I wanted this area lit up and relatively safe. But in the meantime, let's go in here and let's look. Uh, I don't have anything that I need to smelt. So, so anyway, I've started just trying to get some uh, start saving some of this uh, material oh smooth basalt oh got it right there so i've got diamonds and i've got that and oh more tough okay uh this cobble deep sleep i actually really like so here's my goodies chest 
blop, blop, blop. So let's see here. Probably don't need to block all this up. Oops. Um, but let's just do this. I want to see how much I have. I've used a few bits and pieces here and there. Um, I don't have, I have 20 blocks of iron, so that's not nothing. All right. And we have some lapis. So I want to do a couple things. And for it, I need some leather. And the original plan was to go and raid some villages, but none of the villages nearby seem to have libraries and I need books. So that, that was my original plan was just to go raid a village, steal all their books, but they don't have any books. So, um, so I bred up the cows a little bit earlier and we're going to go collect some leather and I want a few pieces of leather uh, because I want to be able to do this. So that's two pieces of leather and three pieces of leather. That's five pieces of leather. That's all I need. I, I bred them up earlier, and I will come back and when the babies are grown a little bit, breed them up a little bit more so that I'm not stealing all Barb's cows. So let's go. I have sugar cane so I can make a book. And I, as you saw, I made a diamond pickaxe so that I can mine some obsidian. Uh, which means, and I've been finding lapis and they have changed the way the lapis generates. So now when you find a, a, a block of lapis ore, it drops a ton of lapis, even without a uh, fortune. So I need that and I need some of this. And I want to do two things. When I do go exploring, I want to do so with leather boots. Um, but more importantly, I need some paper and I want to make a book. That leaves me enough to still make some leather boots. And the leather boots are for the powdered snow because walking around the mountains here is annoying as all get out. And because the powder is starting to fall in, and if you're not careful about it, it just it just becomes really, really, really annoying. So now I need a couple of diamonds, not just the one. Now I can make an enchanting table. And oh, I thought that involved an enchantment. Okay, and then I was going to put that in here. Up. And let's see what the light level does in this room because I was hoping in the corner three, three, oh, five. Oh, it's beautiful. You can make this room all moody. That's that's just beautiful. Okay, and we're okay in here, right? If I close this door, we're okay over here. Does the doorknob lock light? Interesting. Why is the light level here 10? Yeah, the door must not block light. Interesting. Okay. So now let's grab some lapis and let us, what do we need to do first? So I think part of my goal here today is, you notice I've got 36 levels. If I pop this in here, I can get efficiency on my pickaxe. That's not bad. Um, and I probably want to just start making books and enchanting books um, to see what I can do. Oh, it's a smoker. Oh, that's right. I've been, I've been wanting to play around with this. Let's grab some coal. 
Yeah. Let's put that as fuel in the smoker. Let's put in the beef. And it goes fast. Nice. Okay. So now, uh, and then I need, we need more books so I can start building bookshelves and build this up into a full thing. But in the meantime, I need, I need iron. I mean, I need armor. And initially I was just going to do it out of iron, but I've got the diamonds. So maybe we, maybe we start making iron arm or diamond armor. Um, so I have over a stack of diamonds, not bad. So, um, I, I have my iron boots, but I'm going to put on my leather boots instead. Oh, let's, uh, let's see. Can we get an enchant out of the leather boots? Protection. Yeah, okay, better than nothing. Especially level one ch enchant. I'm not going to be able to do too much, but I need uh, I need a chest plate and pants. Okay. And then I was thinking I have gold. Oops, I have gold. Ah, I have gold here. Let's. At some point, I'm going to have to go into the nether. So I'm thinking we need a gold helmet. So I can put that on and go into the nether and not be bothered by the piglins. I don't know. That may not be the really the best strategy, but let's burn a few levels here. Let's see. I like the helmet. I'm breaking projectile protection. Okay. I'm breaking might be a really good move there. Protection, protect, uh, protection, um, protection. Okay, so we're going to see what we get if we try to just enchant this armor. Just protection one. Okay. Blop. And can we do more protection, protection, um, oops. just going to do some level one in chance protection. Okay. At least it's better than nothing. And then the boots can I do protect uh, protection? Oh. Why does it let me do a level three? Huh. Um, what happens if I do this? Aqua affinity. You know what? Fire protection actually makes a ton of sense for the nether. I get fire protection one. So, and then my leather boots. Still have 32 levels. No, you know what? Let's do the next thing we need to do. Um, let's grab my sticks. Let's make a sword. As I said, I haven't encountered that many mobs, so we haven't really been using that sword much. But let's see what, whoops, what we get here. Sharp. Knockback. I don't want knockback. Let's sharpness one. Sharpness one guns. What was that noise? Oh, it's the middle of the night. Let me sleep. There's probably beasties on the thing ahead above me. Okay. Um so I got a sword and well, I still have 31 levels. Um, pickaxe would be a good thing to do. I'm breaking. I like that. Let's see if I can get like unbreaking plus efficiency. Nope. Just unbreaking. Okay. 
well, that's that's better than nothing. And um, can I get another enchant out of the boots? Protection. I don't want projectile protection, though. Interesting. Okay. It's good enough for now. These boots are my snow boots. And I will save these. Okay. And then I'm going to just stash some of this stuff. So this iron pickaxe is about dead. Probably just use that up. Okay, so I have, as you can see, I've, I've built a number of, well, let's block those back up. Let's see how many blocks we end up with. Seven blocks of diamonds plus five. Okay, could be worse. Um, and I'm breaking on the diamond pick so it'll last longer, which is good. Now, I'm still going to, um, the next thing I need to do, next thing I want to do, is I still don't want to, like, use up my, oh, I didn't know this. You can make stone tools out of the cobble deep slate. I didn't know that. I thought I was using up my cobblestone. I'm okay with that. Really, I am. Let's do that. So the next project, which I'll get started on here, but I'm not gonna, whoops. I'm not gonna finish right now, necessarily. Um, is over here. The reason I wanted to light this up, and I will do some additional landscaping, we'll probably put in a little walking path and some trees. But coming down over here, I want to dig. What am I doing here? Yeah, I think so. Um, I want to dig a tunnel. And if you go, if we go over, if we go right here and dig tunnel this way, should I make it three? I don't know. I'm gonna put a torch here. We'll dig along straight for now. Um, but if we dig this way through the mountain, we should approach spawn. Um, and it would be nice to be able to get a, a safe path through the mountain to spawn. I know Barb Makes Things has been um, digging some tunnels through the mountain to the, the villages that surround the area. Um, and trying to just make it easier to get in and out. Because climbing over the mountain is kind of a monstrous pain. So let's just see how far I can get here. Oops, put that down there. And we'll clean this up. We'll, we'll uh, actually decorate this and make it. And we're gonna make it wider, so it's a little bit more, less claustrophobic. I'm thinking a three by three tunnel. And we'll put some, uh, we'll make sure that it's properly lit up. So it's safe to be in. And uh, we'll put like, you know, a bed and some uh, some supplies, some chests so that people can come in and grab some food or grab some uh, stuff, whatever, whatever they need. Oh, yeah, see, I built a compass. So we're heading basically the right direction to head to spawn. So, um, 
Oh, hello. Oh. Ooh, I hope I don't have a ton of gravel here. I guess this makes it a little easier on the pickaxe. Uh, I know Barb went and laid down a, a bed and a chest with some stuff at spawn or very nearby. Um, this is why I've been using stone tools because they're basically free. When you chop down the, the big trees that leaves decay, with the leaf decay, you now get sticks. Um, so this, I don't even have to use up the wood that we're harvesting in order to make sticks. Uh, and then, since I can use the, the cobble deep slate, I am like, I have more of that stuff than I know what to do with. Um, even though I like it as a block, and the, some of the stuff you can make out of it. So like the the tiles, like I'm thinking I will probably use that to line this tunnel. Um, and that is the... Oh, coal. Oh, nice. Sure, that kind of suggests we're maybe getting close. Oh, it's getting dark. I should have brought a bed with me. I wasn't thinking it through too much. Grass. I think we're getting close. Okay, sun's still up, and there's the bed. Ah! So we can make this a little tunnel. Um, I'm going to tear some of this down. Make it a little more obvious that's what's going on here. Um, Little, do a little terraforming landscaping here. And probably put a sign up. Whoops. To let people know. Boop. They show up at spawn. There's a chest here with some, potentially some stuff. We took down some trees to make it a little easier to navigate here. This, ooh, what time is it? Okay. So the whole point of this is that we then have a quick and safe way to get from here over to the plateau. That works. And I'll expand this out. I'll make this a big tunnel, but this is good enough for right now it's safe you come out this side and even when it's dark this should be a relatively safe path up over here we'll make it a little bit more obvious that it is a path i'll put in some half slabs so that you don't have to go jumping everywhere but come up here and then woohoo and then you got farms and there's food and supplies. Okay, let me go lay down. So it's not quite down yet, but it's getting there. Um, yeah, so there we go. Oh, it is. 
Nice. Oh, and I got that steak. Cool. Uh, we'll put, yeah, we'll put our food up here, I guess. So obviously I will get more supplies. So I've got obsidian here. I collected enough and I think it should be obvious what one of the next steps is. Um, cobblestone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I need to, I, I've got all these chests are now like empty. <laughs> Put cobblestone up there. I've got gravel. We need to organize this. This is not intended to be a long-term base, but I do want to kind of get established and then um and then figure out. I've got a bed here, but I don't really need it. Um I do want to get sort of set up and established a bit, and then and then we can go exploring a little bit. Uh, so this is pretty close. And so what I can do is, again, we'll put path in here. I'll get, I'll make some slabs, probably like cobblestone slabs to put it in to make it easier to walk. And the plan is to make this a three by three, uh, three by three tunnel so that it's nice and Inviting. And we'll make it all, you know, actually line it with, with uh, something. And I'm thinking the, uh, the cobble deep slate. I'll make some tiles out of that or something because I do like that block. And I have a ton of it, so. And with the lighting, we shouldn't. I should be able to do some sort of recessed lighting or something, because um, with the the spawning now, you don't have to do a whole lot to prevent mobs from spawning. So, so anyway, don't need to watch this. That was kind of something that I wanted to get started on, and we can continue this path. And yeah. So let's go check on the cows. Go grab some wheat. Let's see if they're ready to breed again. And if the little babies have grown up and if I can harvest some more leather because we're gonna need a bunch of books to make a bunch of bookcases. And right now that looks like it's gonna be the easiest, quickest way of getting it. So um, it's unfortunate for the cows, but Kind of the way it goes. Circle of life and all that. And we'll make sure that we maintain plenty of stock of cows. And the wheat farm, the wheat is growing, so we'll just keep harvesting that. I don't think we're past the point of needing to eat bread. So we can use the wheat for breeding the cows. And uh, 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 the babies are grown. Uh, I think so. Uh, yes, I can breed them again. Uh, uh, build up a few more, uh, a little more experience. So, ah, back up to level thirty. Okay, well, anyway, there we go. I don't want to be it's a little late at night. I don't want to be up too late. And then you can, uh, that tunnel didn't, that tunnel went faster than I thought it was going to. So um, we can, I can check that off. Obviously, I need to finish it, but then I can do that off camera. And. 
Next step will be a little bit of exploring and more mining just so I can com get completely kitted out in diamonds and not feel too uh, like I'm being too extravagant. And then we can head into the nether. So I'll probably be doing some of that um, on on streaming. It's uh, twitch.tv slash bangsplat. I'll put a link to that in the video description. And so I'll be recording recording those. So I want to capture pretty much all of this stuff. And dirt. And then I've got that sugar cane in here. Ooh. So I'll need to make, oh, uh, yeah. I've got plenty of storage and I'm expanding out and I've got my little enchanting room. Ooh, spooky. And then we will, I don't know. Um, once I get uh, some stuff, some brewing stuff from the nether, uh, maybe I'll make a, enchanting like a brewing room and then we'll have to figure out a uh to get some villagers over here and set up a little villager breeder so i can start getting books um yeah so there we go all right well thank you for watching this is theron it's been minecraft land party and i'll see you next time all right bye